hi guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another weekly vlog i just finished getting ready and i am currently heading out right now to meet up with shahad inshallah we're going to this art cafe that we were supposed to actually go a couple days ago but we're going today um so basically it's this really cute cafe where they give you pottery that's already been made and then you paint over it yeah that's what we're doing today and i think it's gonna be super cute inshallah i actually just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit before she comes i actually have a matching scarf with this let me show you what it looks like i could also wear it with this but i feel like it's satin on satin and knowing me this is not gonna stay on my head so i just decided to put on chiffon instead and i feel like it also like makes it less dressy because we're just going to the cafe it's just a daytime activity hopefully i don't get dirty or get paint on myself because I'm wearing light colors, so I feel like this is really, really risky, but I really wanted to wear this today, and I feel like I've just, yeah, I don't know. If I want to wear it, I'm going to wear it, you know? Now I'm conflicted. You guys, you guys can't even tell me what you think, because this is going to be posted, and I've already worn it. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I love it. I think it's remember my Apple Watch. That's my accessories today, because y'all, ever since the Step Up app thing has been trending, I've been walking like no tomorrow, even in this heat. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna pack my stuff now and head out. My bag is gonna be my work bag, even though we're not gonna be really working. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking now. I will see you guys, inshallah, when I'm at the cafe. She's like hella focused. Hella focused. <laughs> Shaking. She's making a bee. Is that embarrassing? It's giving performance anxiety. <laughs> Let me not pressure you. In a world filled with fleeing connections and superficial relationships, finding friends who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love is something to be treasured. I truly believe in the importance of making friends who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love because these are the friendships that are not just connections but spiritual lifelines. To be quite honest, finding friends who are genuinely beneficial for your spiritual journey and your afterlife can actually be very challenging and it's a journey that often requires patience and steadfastness because you're seeking out people whose hearts are also aligned with the teachings of Islam and are people who want to feel closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Personally, I've navigated through periods in my life where searching for these types of friends has been really rough. And on that journey, I encountered friendships that, while initially were promising, lacked a lot of depth in matters of faith. And these relationships left me longing for companionships where I wanted people who could inspire me to grow spiritually and also draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that struggle wasn't just about finding people who were like-minded, but also about maintaining integrity in my own beliefs amidst all the societal pressures and temptations around me. And that is something that requires introspection and relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance to discern genuine friendships from superficial connections. I remember a time specifically when I was really grappling with deep sorrow and confusion in my life. And it really felt like my faith was slipping away. My heart was feeling so heavy with doubt and during this dark period, a close friend reached out out of the blue and it was a friend who always seemed to carry a piece of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's light within her. She shared with me a verse from the Quran saying, and whoever fears Allah, he will make for him a way out and will provide for him where he does not expect. When you surround yourself with friends who reflect his love, you find inspiration to really strive for greater piety and righteousness. As we know, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself said, a man follows the religion of his friend, so each one should consider whom he makes his friend. I've always been the type of person who's made so much dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me people who are good for me. And I continue to seek this type of companionship that will really enrich my soul. But each step on this journey brings me closer to understanding that the profound impact of surrounding myself with friends who uplift and inspire me towards getting closer to him will ultimately prepare me for a much more fulfilling life, both in this world and the eternal hereafter, inshallah. So I say this to say, if you are a type of person who is looking for friendships like this, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide you with good companionship and be patient because the wait is worth it.
Naid Mubarak, you guys. I'm currently super dressed up today. Um, and we're heading over to a restaurant at an area called Medina Jumeirah, which I've showed you guys plenty of times before. I just wanted to show you guys how pretty this area is. It's so nice, and you have the view as well of the, you know what it's called, the Burj Al Arab. But yeah, I feel so sparkly today. I really hope I'm able to get a really cute photo, but if not, I'm not gonna be mad. We don't have, um, res we don't have a reservation right now for Eid which wasn't really smart, but we're gonna figure it out. It's fine. I'm sure there's gonna be something here. But yeah, now we're just gonna take some pictures and look around and just enjoy. Another day, a little bit later, we're gonna be going to Kite Beach to watch the sunset. Hopefully, inshallah, we're able to make the sunset because it's currently 4:44. But I just wanted to come here and say that I've been doing a really bad job of vlogging this last couple, like this, this last week, the last couple of days. And honestly, a big part of it is because I've really been enjoying being in the moment and just really being present. So picking up my camera has just been. I don't know, it's just been, I just have, didn't want to do it. So the, the next couple of vlogs will, will be good and make up for it, inshallah. But I hope you guys are all doing well. Today the weather is quite hot, but it's my first time going out for the entirety of the day. It's not a lot. This is actually my second last day here because I'm going to be traveling again. I'm going to be heading over to another destination, inshallah, which I kind of want you guys to guess where you guys think I'm going. I feel like you guys will know me because I'm quite predictable. So you guys might be able to guess, but I want you guys to guess where you guys think I'm going to be heading to, inshallah. So the next couple of days is just going to be me prepping for that trip because there's a lot of things that I need to pack and kind of take with me that I haven't thought about just yet, but I'm super excited for that. So that vlog or those vlogs will be a lot more fun, inshallah, which I'm really excited about. Also, I didn't actually show you guys. I'm wearing this beautiful abaya from Johara Boutique. It's like this beautiful purple plum color. I never wear this color. It's my first time wearing such like a deep rich color, but I really, really love it. I think it looks stunning. I did a very, very basic makeup look today, just like, and I have my pimple patch right here too because 
this time of the month has really been breaking me out. Oh my god, I'll take you guys along. As you guys probably know by this point, talking about and using the ocean as a metaphor is one of my favorite things for a plethora of reasons because the ocean has always held a very profound significance in my heart. For one, when I look at the ocean and how it changes in temperament, it really mirrors the complexities of life itself because the body of water serves as a metaphor for the human experience. It encapsulates the highs, the lows, the calm, and the storm, much like our journey through faith and existence. When I'm dealing with periods of uncertainty or introspection, I often find myself drawn to the ocean's shores or imagery, seeking solace in its vastness and wisdom because it truly reminds me of the constancy of Allah's guidance and the assurance that, like the ocean's tides, his plans unfold with perfect timing and purpose. The ocean's ability to really inspire awe and introspection truly resonates with me because it allows me to really reflect on the nature of Allah's Allah's creation and his boundless mercy. And it's also a reminder that when life's turbulence gets really insane, his presence can really be felt. It really makes me think of his name, Al-Kabir, the all-aware, the one who knows all things seen and unseen, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge truly transcends time and space, encompassing the past, the present, and the future. So to me, ultimately, the ocean really symbolizes that journey of faith. And it's a journey that's marked by different waves of challenges, moments of clarity, and it's really guided by that constant presence of Al-Kabir, the all-knowing. And by embracing this metaphor, I've been able to find a sense of peace and perspective because I know that just as the ocean's currents shape the shorelines, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom shapes our lives with purpose and grace. I just finished up at the Dubai's Ladies Beach Club, which I have showed you guys before. If you guys remember, or if you guys have watched my previous vlogs before, you guys will remember that I go here quite often. So I spent pretty much the entire evening there and it was so nice, you guys. It was so relaxing. And alhamdulillah, today the weather was actually really, really good, even though it was supposed to be the hottest day here, but it didn't end up being as hot as I anticipated. Alhamdulillah, it was so perfect. And I just finished getting dressed because we got invited over to this incredible restaurant at the Four Seasons Hotel, inshallah. I literally just put on my makeup and it's already starting to melt um, because the humidity here isn't cute. So yeah, but anyways, hopefully inshallah, by the time I get there and I'm seated, I'll feel like my face will hold up because I could already feel it kind of melting. But I wanted to show you guys my abaya. Let me know what you guys think. My face is already melting and I've only been outside for two seconds. I need to go back inside where there's AC because I just put on my face and I already look like someone threw water on my face. The funny part is it gets really humid and then it looks like my face is melting and then when I get into the AC, it's almost like nothing happened. It's like magic, it's crazy. The beach was nice. The water was so salty and when I was swimming in it, I swear I drank like at least half the ocean today. Like I drank half the water that was in there. It, it, was, it was a lot. There was also a lot of seaweed. I don't know what was going on there, but I'm just waiting for my friends to finish up praying salah. But yeah, anyways, 
I'm gonna stop talking because I can feel myself like melting right now and we are going to head over to the Four Seasons, so let's go. Hello. we're gonna try mains but this is like real authentic portuguese food which i've never had before so this is gonna be my first time and i think it's gonna be really really good inshallah but um yeah anyway can we take a moment for the abai like come here i did not eat yeah really fit the vibe too thank you <laughs> we eat fried green beans and quinoa looks so good <laughs> so cute. have the sweet pea. Mm. Mm. It's actually so good. I wonder what the sauce is. It's actually really, really good. I've never had this before. This is stracciatella, which is like a dip. Mm. Have garlic prawns. That's what they look like. And if you're not a fan of seafood, then this isn't for you. But it's so good, guys. Literally, you can see the eyes. Wait. Wait, you need to have this on. I got myself dirty already, so there's... I will be back inshallah when we have the mains and I'll let you guys know what I think, but I'm so excited to eat the rest of this. this restaurant is. Oh, so cool. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So I'm about to have literally the thing that I would... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Trust me, dude. Trust me, dude. Trust me. We restart this, but this is literally exactly what it was that I came here for. If you guys remember in my last London vlog a while back, I went to this Portuguese bakery and had the pasta donadas. What did I tell you guys? I'm so excited to have this. Okay, so we're gonna try it together. Bismillah. Mm. 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 